Cool, thanks for uh, coming for my talk. Uh, just a quick show of hands, how many people are thinking of implementing open telemetry? Okay, how many are already in production with open telemetry? Okay, quite good a number. Uh, yeah, so uh, just to introduce myself, uh, I am Pranay, I am one of the co-founders and maintainers at Cygnos. Uh, so for people who don't know Cygnos, Cygnos is an open source authority platform. It's an open telemetry native uh, backend for traces, metrics, and log in a single application. Uh, we have been around for around three years. The project has grown to around 90,000 GitHub stars uh, with a very active Slack community. And I also used to run open telemetry APAC end user groups. So we used to talk with end users and what are the problems they are facing with open telemetry. And we also have a bunch of our uh, team members as open telemetry con uh, maintainers, right? So, so the perspective which I come from is uh, both as a open telemetry users because we help many companies use open telemetry and also as an open telemetry maintainer seeing like what problems the open telemetry maintainer faces, right? Um, many of you would have seen a post like this that, hey, like uh, in Reddit or Hacker News uh, coming up like, hey, is open telemetry, why is it so complicated? Or uh, why is it like, people are not able to get a sense of like why it is like this and uh, ranting in Reddit and Hacker News, right? So in this talk, I'll just try to sort of give context on what we face uh, from our users, uh, helping users uh, set up come open telemetry and what we think are the potential reasons why it is so and maybe as a community, how we can improve it. And the third point which we face a lot is helping organizations implement open telemetry because implementing a new telemetry stack is a org policy and like org transformation and that also takes a lot of buy-in, right? So I'll just quickly buy in, uh, like uh, run through what are the things we hear from our users, right? So open telemetry has a complex learning curve. I think many of users, people today have talked about this. Even the basic concepts of instrumentation is essentially a new concept. Uh, people don't know what an open telemetry collector is, what is a processor, transformer, right? And just to wrap around the concept of open telemetry, we have seen people take a lot of time. Uh, people don't understand that. Uh, so, and just to give an example, uh, if you have done ever done custom instrumentation of metrics, there are things like meter provider, then this you have to define a meter, then there's an instrument, and very quickly, it becomes very difficult for people to understand, right? There's a cross-language inconsistencies. Uh, that behavior in one language to other is very different. Uh, there are some efforts going on today for addressing these differences, but uh, we saw today the open telemetry configuration working group is presented, and I think that's a great step in the right direction, but still, it takes a lot of time to, uh, there's a lot of difference between different uh, applications and languages. Uh, here is just an example where uh, somebody is trying to pass a bearer token, sorry, bearer token, and the way Node.js and Python handles the space between in the authorization token is very different, right? And as of now, this, this is blocked by spec because one, like different working groups have different interpretations of how to implement it, right? And, and this is fair from open telemetry working groups point of view, but the end user like doesn't really understand like what's going on. So just trying to highlight why people think it's very complicated. Uh, what we've also seen is there's a lot of baggage which people have coming from different ecosystems like Prometheus, uh, and the way open telemetry does those things is very different. So people have a lot of time wrapping their heads around, hey, like why is for example, defining histogram buckets like this here versus Prometheus, right? So when end users see this, they think that, hey, like open telemetry is very tough. One of the reasons which I think is because they are coming from an ecosystem which is uh, generally Prometheus, uh, especially talking about metrics, and the mo mental model for open telemetry is very different, right? And it takes just a lot of learning curve to understand how to set things up here, right? Also, there's like a lot of silent failure modes. I think this is just like could be improved by better clear debugging messages. There are issues around, like we see a lot of issues that, hey, like should I use a pre-fork or post-fork? Uh, is hypercon pre-fork, post-fork? So even in Python instrumentation, there's a lot of issues which people face, right? And 
many times people just send data to to you using open telemetry and this is just talking about distributed tracing you may be sending data to an open telemetry by open telemetry sdk but still you don't see anything right and today as of now the status is that the this lot of silent failures you don't get lot of verbose messages to understand what's going on really in the uh, in the underneath under the hood right and these are very difficult to detect for example if you send data and you if you don't see anything uh, very tough to figure out what's going on and we have to spend a lot of time with the users in the community to see like what's going wrong right uh, yeah so these are like some issues which i wanted to highlight so that uh, people who face this feel heard but there are some reasons why this is like this right and um uh, as the member of the open telemetry community we should also hear that i think first thing which open telemetry has done by default is it has taken extensibility as a design choice right uh, if you think about the meter provider meter instrument the way it works it gives you a lot of flexibility on how you want to define meters and how you can use it in your uh, applications also this is happening because people are coming from different ecosystem and trying to adopt to open telemetry now and thinking about it open telemetry is still relatively new it has been around for around 3 years i think this should change as people start their uh, journey with open telemetry and new developers which are coming up as they start their journey with open telemetry they should get lot better and just as a shout out to all the maintainers in open telemetry right it is still the most advanced implementation which does all three signals together and maybe a round of claps to all the maintainers right that this is still i i think this is still still a remarkable feat um, the only product which we have which is like at much bigger the scale than this is prometheus which is just doing metrics and for a, for a particular backend while here you can plug and play any backend you have all the three signals and we have more signals like profiling coming in it is inherently a hard problem uh but having said that we still need to do, do a lot of work around uh, to iron out the issue i think the uh, declarative config working group is in the right direction we also need to be uh, working a lot on uh, providing verbose errors which would help users debug this so so yeah just thinking more from users perspective rather than what um is best from a software engineering perspective i think that's important but also thinking about what are the real messages should we emit how will it affect the experience when people actually implemented this right so these were like two issues which we think i think why open telemetry is complicated by design and it's not to say that it's it's it can't be better but i think there's a path where if open telemetry gets much or much better and we have already seen today many of the companies like monday and ebay are using open telemetry at huge scale right and we also see customers and users benefiting a lot from open telemetry so i think this is just a matter of time uh, on as open telemetry grows and becomes much popular and this becomes a default tool to start instrumenting right i think the last point which i want to touch upon is uh, people have a lot of issues or like have questions which you have seen our end user group on when they start open telemetry journey in org right hey like what should be the ideal setup how should i convince my developers how should i convince my teams and i think the best way to do this is to Uh, have more user stories on open telemetry uh, at signals we have done started publishing some of these case studies but i think there's lot of scope for us to do like as all uh, backend providers and as a community to publish more user stories on how uh, we are publishing uh, how we are using open telemetry scale right so yeah so to summarize open telemetry still has a lot of learning curve but i think it's for a reason because it's extensible by choice by design uh but we still have a lot of work to do as a community to remove this inconsistency and provide more sort of active messages which can help users use faster so that's about it uh, if you want to discuss more about open telemetry uh come join us slack ping me on twitter or we are hosting a happy now hour now just across the street so just scan the qr code and join yeah that's about it thank you